So this is the Mechis. A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor, whom I gladly serve, Great Grieker, made flesh.
Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sunbreak. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Anchor! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> hmm. Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. Oh, you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be a Take the large one. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, good. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, pass. It's gone. 
We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. But then a band bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait! Just don't go, El! He's my mate! As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders. But I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass. But I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means, traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress, to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you zin if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know... Try swimming across the strait, but... The guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. 
All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know, then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Jug of snake spit. <sighs> Excuse me. What do you want? I, I... I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... He said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. 
The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Shit! Cornered! It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time, before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him, then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you Him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the Carstones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Oh, where is it? So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. They meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. 
Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural ball ne'er-do-wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. 
Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places, while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll... Try the caravan. What I really want to be... Here you are, Goots. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss Earl's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. That's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries... <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sandbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess. When first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If 
Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. of my blood. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel. And not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Hmm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For 
their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella, and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! <gasps> this way. 